it's me and Oliver, you guys, back to share another Dollar Tree haul. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kira, if you are new, and that back there is Oliver, and he likes to be the star of the show in every single sit-down video, especially a Dollar Tree haul. So today is no different than any other day. I'm sure you will see him throughout this video, but I am back fairly quickly to share a Dollar Tree haul. I kind of knew this may happen, but I was on the hunt for a couple of things that I purchased from last time. I'll link that video up above for you guys if you missed it, but I still did not find the things that I was looking for. And I'm a little sad about it because I don't want to keep going to different places and I don't think I'm going to be able to make this on my own. So I'm a little disappointed about it, but needless to say, I still found a bunch of other things. I went to the very, very large Dollar Tree on San Pedro. I went with Vanessa from Lemonade Mom. Her and I like to go to this large one together because it does take a long time to go through while you're just kind of perusing the store because it is ginormous. So her and I usually go together because we'll just chit chat while we're walking through the aisles and checking things out. So I did find some things. I definitely was happy with what I found. I think I spent about $72, but now with a little bit of inflation, I don't feel like, you know, you don't get as much as you're used to getting, but I still came out feeling good about what I found. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling things out of bags. I didn't like take anything out or sort it yet, but I did grab two packs. I do feel like the cards and the party supplies and all of that, that is still always going to be killer at the DT. Like if you're throwing a party and stuff like that, Party City, all of those party places, even some party packs that you can get online like on Amazon like a big various variety pack it still breaks down to be cheaper I think from the DT and so these are 24 sheet sets of tissue paper which I always like to have tissue paper in my gift bin there's five blue five green five yellow five pink and four red I don't know why they cheating on the red hating on the red ones but I really wanted it for the green sheets I mentioned in a past vlog when I was sharing with you guys how I set up for a St. Patrick's Day, I have this little lantern that's empty that I thought maybe I would do something like green tissue paper and fairy lights and stuff. And then if that looks good, maybe I'll change it out for each season and like for springtime and Easter do like yellow and blues. It doesn't always have to be tissue paper. I went really for the, that's what I went for this time was for the garland. I just wanted like even if it just looked like the chintzy kind of garland, I didn't care because I was still gonna jazz it up with like fairy lights and stuff. I just wanted to change it green, but they really didn't have anything. Like it was still February when I went and there was no St. Patrick's Day in there at all. So that was kind of surprising to me being that I couldn't find anything else. So for now, I'm just gonna do green tissue paper. I'll change it throughout the years or I'll change concepts like for every holiday. I'm sure I'll find other things that are suiting but I needed this for the green, and like I said, whatever I don't use, I will just put in my gift bin. Uh, Vanessa got this on her last Dollar Tree haul, and I saw the other colors, but she's right. This one's just the best one. They do have a pink and a blue one, but I just think this is so sweet. It says Cottontails, pick your own carrot patch. And I just love the plain, you know, black and white buffalo check. It's the pink and white or the blue and white. They're still really pretty but they looked like almost something for a baby shower because it was so pink and white and so blue and white, but I just feel like this is very neutral and I really, I loved it. I thought it was so, so pretty. So I'm gonna use that for some kind of decoration and then I'm gonna use this also. I have that big vase that's on my TV stand that has those little branches sticking out of it that come on at night that light up. I thought these little things would look cute sticking out of it. So they are calling them carrot steaks. They're made of metal. These are pretty heavy duty. They were just in the regular portion of the Dollar Tree. No like upcharge or whatever. So it was just $1.25. But can you see the detail on the metal? 
it's got the little wisps for the top of the carrots and the leaves and stuff painted in green and then it swirls up with the orange so I got two of those I thought those would look super cute like sticking out of that vase and then as V and I were getting online we were uh sitting there and they had these little bracelets and I thought they were so so cute I thought this would be awesome for Maya's um Easter basket so there's one braided one and then one beaded one and so the top beaded one says love with the little letters and it's hot pink and then the bottom one is just like pastel colors but I felt like that was perfect Easter color so I thought she would like that in her Easter basket something for Oliver but he has like a silicone mat that he has underneath his water bowls but I'm pretty sure that I've heard that cats like moving water and so in order for him to drink out of it he takes his paw and he moves it and he shakes it so that the water moves and then he starts to drink so I think that's a little weird um but I got him a silicone mat because he started spilling his water all over the floor in the bathroom all the time and I was like slipping and falling. But the silicone mat gets like dirty because it'll get wet and then dust and stuff will stick to it and it'll get dirty and I'm constantly cleaning it. So I thought I'm going to leave it there for stability but then I'm going to put this little cat faced mat on top so it'll create like a cushion. He'll still be able to like move it i really want to get him one of those movable fountains but where i keep his water bowl there's no extra outlet because it's right by my shower so i don't know but for now i just thought this would help keep it a little bit more clean and dry this little blue cat face they had other colors and dogs and stuff but i just got that for his water bowl did you like that bud what do you think huh did you want to see did you see look look what i got for you cool do you care? Hello? Hi. Look. Look. Oh, do you like it? Do you care? No, not so much. All right. Anyway, um, I saw these. It's only an eight pack, two purple, two blue, two pink, and two yellow, but they're just Easter eggs to fill, but they're in the shape of unicorns. Ah, so cute. I love it. So Maya's really going to enjoy those. I already showed them to her. She said, can I have them now? It's not Easter, you silly. Uh, okay, so I actually picked up a bunch of these. There's going to be other ones in here, I'm sure, somewhere. But Peeps had so many things. In my last Dollar Tree haul, I had, like, Peeps, those plastic cellophane wraps to wrap your baskets in. And then now there was a whole bunch of, like, activity things. If we were with my family, I wouldn't think about picking so much of this up, but it's just going to be us. We're not going to be with anybody else on Easter. So besides opening their Easter baskets in the morning and then, you know, doing like it, we usually do an Easter egg hunt during the day and dinner, what else is there really to do? It's just a, just us. So I like to get the kids things fun for them to do that day. And I found just a few of these like paint sheets and stuff but they're all peeps so it was just cute so these are shareable paint sheets and it's almost like those books we had when we were a kid you just wet this little section with like a paintbrush or your finger even and then just like a paint with water on the little pictures and so i got each kid one of those i thought they would like that all right we're switching over to a little bit of food I got these last time and we opened them already and the kids love them but I told you I wanted to pull out all of the letters that spell out St. Patrick's Day and put it in their like cereal snack mix that I'm making for them either for school or on spring break during St. Patrick's Day and I have a feeling that we're not going to have any left by the time that that comes. So I bought another box. If we do end up not needing this then I'm just going to use it to make Rice Krispie treats. I've been really enjoying uh, diving into using different flavors. I just recently discovered, uh, I shared it in a meal prep video, but I just recently discovered using different kinds of extracts in your Rice Krispie treat. If you guys knew to do this, why have you not shared this hack with me before? Like, why is this something that I'm just finding out at 40 years old? Like, but I'm excited about it because you can get 
extracts of a million different flavors. I have ones downstairs that are French toast and coffee and like it really is endless. So I thought it'd be cool to just kind of use something like this. It's the General Mills Sesame Street cereal. It's alphabets. It says C is for cinnamon. And like I said, we've already opened them and they really liked them. I love the fact that they always have Snyder's pretzels here and they are not out of date. Oh, actually, yeah, they are, but they're next week. So I'm pretty sure that they're not going to be awful if we open them right now. I hope not anyway, but my kids will probably eat these pretty fast. These are the Snyder's of Hanover, the braided twist. It's the honey wheat made with real honey. And so I think these will also really be good in our cheese fondue, which we always do on St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully this will last another couple of weeks until then. And then these I saw and I absolutely had to pick them up for the kids because my kids love mac and cheese, but they also love like cheese doodles. If you guys watch like our lunch videos and stuff or our grocery hauls, my kids like pirate's booty and you know the they love the new ones by cheetos all natural ones so these are organic good health it says it's made with cheddar cheese from organic valley and it's baked cheese puffs in the mac and cheese flavor so i think my kids We'll like that. We will enjoy using that in a lunch. Or like I said, my kids have spring break coming up really soon. So. <laughs> Bags freak him out, by the way. Um, okay, so I saw these. Well, I saw different ones and I picked one up for each kid. And then when I saw these, I grabbed two of them for Mason and I'll just give both to Maya for their Easter baskets. But these are just blind balls. My kids absolutely love them. And I have very rarely seen blind bags and blind balls at the Dollar Tree for a while. And these ones are arcade, but it says collect them all. They are like swords. They look like, oh, space sabers. That's what it said. And on the display, it shows that when you, like they pop out, you like, they're either blow up or snap up or something. And they're, they light up like almost glow sticks. And it says it's a space saver, space saber, collect them all. So let me see if I can get, the camera to focus so that's them so I ended up see it just shows you like there what they look like like the little swords so I got two that's gonna go to Mace and his Easter basket and then all right they had so many different flavors of peeps I think I got four different flavors so I can use maybe give one to each kid in their Easter baskets and then one, I don't know. Uh, for now, I only have three. Like I said, I didn't separate them. But this one is the Sparkly Wildberry. I've never seen those before, but I think it was for Halloween. Maybe I got Halloween peeps, ghosts or something. I used it as a topper for their cupcake. The cupcake frosting sometimes makes a mess in their lunchbox, but I thought if I put like a peep on top, it would kind of cover most of the frosting and kind of stop it from getting all over the place. And that's what I did once before and the kids got such a kick out of it. So I bought a bunch of different kinds and if I, whatever I don't use in their lunches, maybe I'll stuff those inside of the Easter eggs that we find, that would be kind of different. So I got the sparkly wild berry and then I got the party cake. I think the kids will enjoy those. And then I also got the cotton candy. Look how totally Eastery those look, right? The pink with the blue speckles. And then I saw these and I thought these were super, super cute. They are like not Dollar Tree brands. They're by AmeriCookies and it says that, wait, where did it say that it came from? Hold on. Was this the one that said it was produced in New York somewhere? No, it wasn't. But these are, like I said, AmeriCookies on their little like cookie eggs. I thought they were decorated so, so cute. I thought they would be sweet inside of their Easter basket. So Maya got the pink. And Jacob got the blue. 
and Mason got the green. So thought those, were, those would be cute. And then I have found this. I've got this like once before and Dow really liked it. So I figured I would grab this for him again just to throw in a lunch. But it's a tasty cake honey bun that is frosted but Boston cream filled. I don't know. It's pretty heavy duty, which is why I feel like it's a good deal for a dollar twenty-five because it's like a nice hearty chocolate ice cream filled cake. It's almost like a giant Boston cream uh, donut. But I was excited to walk through the cakes and stuff because, like I said in my last one, my local Dollar Tree took away our whole snack factory section so besides like candy and stuff no crackers no cakes like this like none of that that was all gone so i was kind of excited to you know walk through and see that stuff uh all right just a few more bags that like i said i didn't believe it or not it wasn't a whole lot uh here's another one of those good health organic like cheese doodly kind of things but this is a different flavor this is baked cheese fries in just the cheddar flavor so something else I thought that they would enjoy. Just another snack for spring break. Oh, I grabbed this for those lanterns too. Each one of the lanterns have a handle. So I thought maybe I would use this really cute ribbon and like make a giant bow out of it and tie it to the handle. Look, look you guys. Look at the little gnomies. Aren't they so, so cute? It's going to look so sweet. Stay tuned. I will definitely share what that looks like with you guys. So I'm excited to do that. I saw this. They had a bunch of these like different uh, colored containers, all different kinds. Like I think it would be really cool if you were throwing a Sweet 16 or a Quesanilla or something like that right now because they had a lot of these and tall containers like pencil holder containers but i was thinking like like i said that sweet 16 candy bar how cool it would have looked like with gumballs and all like different things of all different colors in these different containers they were really pretty the only one that i picked up was this trifle container in the purple but i just thought this would be kind of cool for my Easter decorations, like just putting fake either flowers or a bowl full of fake eggs. I have a couple of like just white ones or I have ones that are various like speckled ones that I've gotten from the Target dollar spot over the years. I thought they would look kind of cool, maybe a little like grass, Easter grass, and then some of those in there and just in there. So I don't think I'm going to use it for you know, like food or anything. I think I'm just going to use it for decoration, but I love the crystal look of the pedestal and not bad for, you know, that $1.25. Um, something else I thought was just so cute for that $1.25. I think Vanessa uh, got these too, but these are like little silicone baking molds and they look like little bunnies. So I thought I would put one of these i got this like greenish colored one for mason and the pink one for maya i think i'm gonna put these in their easter basket and like maybe just pick up something really fun like some kind of or i don't even know we have brownie mix i'm not sure but if i put it in their easter basket maybe that's something else we can do that day like we'll do some fun activities we'll bake some things or whatever I don't know i don't i don't want them to be bored on easter i want it to feel like a holiday so maybe baking their own little personal bunny cakes and letting them frost it and decorate it like maybe that'll be something fun you know for them to do so i picked up those and then okay so i went in for those wooden letters that i got in the last dollar tree haul that i said i wanted to do one for each family member i thought it would be a fun activity even if not on easter before so that we can use it as a decoration but decorate each one of the wooden blocks with our initial letter but i couldn't find d for daryl and i could you say that again sorry i'm having trouble hearing you well i wasn't talking to you siri my goodness 
Uh, I couldn't find D for Daryl for my husband and I couldn't find P for Paul. And so right now I only have me and the three kids. I did get A for our last name for my husband just in case, but I still couldn't find anything for Paul. So I found these. V's been playing with her Cricut machine a little bit. So I figured I would just have my husband drill a little hole right here to string the string through because the other things have like a string through a uh, hole for me to string something through so we would need to put a hole in these but I thought worst case scenario they can just paint their initials on these or I'll have them paint this and with her Cricut machine she can make me a letter and I'll just put it on these because they're just little wooden bunny heads but they're just plain wood decor pieces so I thought that would be nice uh to just use if we find what I'm looking for, I'll use this for something else. All right, so next up is another food item. I got the Sweet Chaos Drizzled Popcorn. It's the Cold Stone Creamery Cake Batter, and it has like popcorn with some kind of frosting and then sprinkles. It's non-GMO and no high fructose corn syrup, all the things. But we've gotten this brand quite a few times before. I just got Jake like the black and white one for Valentine's Day during Christmas time. The peppermint one is delicious, but the Cold Stone cake batter sounded really good. So again, I got this for Jake's Easter basket. I think he's going to like that. All right, here's a little bit more of the things that I got for the kids like for that day. So this is a one poster and four markers. So I got each one of them that, but again, it's the Peeps brand. And so it's just one little poster that looks colorful and then they have to color like the different Easter eggs with the markers that they gave them. And it says no mess, glitter won't flake off washable markers. Okay. well. That's a win. And then this is Find the Flower Chick. It says it's Magic Art Scratchers. Scratch off, seek and find. So our family is pretty big on scratch off. So I thought that was super fun. Again, all the Peeps brand. And you can see in the back the two kinds that it has. And then it even gives you this little pick. And the little pick looks like an orange carrot. Like, come on. That looks so, so stinking cute, right? I just absolutely love it. So those will go in the kids' Easter baskets. And then I got these. I think I'm going to put one on either each side of the kids' beds or each side of the bathroom mirror on either, either side. I'm not sure, but I'm really not one for these kinds of stickers. But these just caught me. They're by Crafter Square, and they're just the most beautiful colors. I love the positive messages. So I got this one for Mason. It says, let your light shine. I love that one, all the pretty colors and the font. And then this one for Maya was just so sweet. It says, radiate positivity with the big giant rainbow and the hearts and all of that. I love the font. So those are pretty cute. And these are green briar. So we'll see how good those are. They had a bunch of these little pop it things and so I got each of the kids a pop it bracelet well the little kids this one's the greens and yellows and blues and stuff and for a Dollar Tree uh, it's still really good like popping some of them are crappy but these really aren't they're good and then Maya has the complete rainbow one and like I said it's got decent poppage and then these I thought would be cute to just hang off of their Easter basket, like a little tag. Maya's is a poppet unicorn, which again, these are decent poppets. And uh, this one looks like a little Among Us guy. So I think Mason's going to enjoy that. And these are distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories. So they're not Greenbrier, they are super, super cute. So got those 
I have been refrigerating this, by the way. I just went ahead and stuck it into this bag while I was getting this stuff together. It's the only cold item that I bought, but this is the margaritas rice pudding, and I have been craving it. My husband and I have been watching, uh, re-watching This Is Us. I know the season recently just ended, like the show is over now. So before we go back and watch the seasons that we missed, we wanted to start over and watch the first three that we did watch. So it's nice to have a TV in our room now and we have the little fridge in our room. So I grabbed this for like Hubs and I to share one night as a dessert while we're watching. This is a decent cup. I would never eat this whole thing by myself. How many ounces does it say? Yet yeah, eight ounces. That's a full cup of rice pudding. I could never eat that in one sitting, but it sounds really good. We love ourselves some rice pudding. So I got that for the fridge up here. And then I got just some plain green party lunch napkins. This is going to be for the kids at St. Patrick's Day lunches all week. And then we're down to the very last bag. So this feels heavy because Oh yeah, that's right. That's what's in here. This is a super exciting. So I found a uh, tomato sauce find. So I'm very, very particular about jarred sauce. Uh, I am Italian and I love to cook and my mom's mom was a good cook. My dad's mom I think was definitely a little bit better in the kitchen, but Throughout the years, all of my family have kind of perfected something. Somebody at least had one thing that they were like dynamite at. And my mom definitely has mastered sauce, but it's something that I really wanted to perfect on my own. So I'm particular. I don't like to buy jarred sauce because I feel like I make an extremely good sauce. I'll even link my recipe. I made a video for you guys up above. But this one is a non-GMO tomato sauce. And it's... Valetti's. Oh, this is what was made in New York, right? Yes. Private label foods from Rochester, New York. Because I made a joke that saying that if it's made from New York, then they know what they're doing, right? And so it's Valetti's, no high fructose corn syrup, reduced sodium, no added sugars, natural flavor, 100% olive oil, California tomatoes, which I thought was weird. California tomatoes made in New York, but Valetti's savory collection, basil pasta sauce, and then what is the other flavor? And then this one is a garlic. So I like to have ones just in the pantry for when I don't have my own. Does this have like a expiration? I'm sure they do, but jarred stuff like this lasts a really, really long time. Oh, wait, here's the date. Expires January 12th of 2024. So got a long time on the sauce. So that'll be fine to just kind of keep in the cabinet. And then I think this is the last food item in here, but this was Quaker oatmeal, like name brand Quaker oatmeal in the s'mores flavor. I don't really like um, oatmeal. I prefer cream of wheat. Uh, my kids are not huge fans, but Paul really is. And this doesn't expire until May, but he'll definitely gobble this up. It's chocolate I guess oatmeal with little marshmallows it looks like I don't know like I said I'm not really one for oatmeal but I think that he will really dig that so I went ahead and grabbed that for him uh, a couple of more again like peeps things these like I said these things kind of suckered me in it was like two of these two of these two of these two of these for all the kids like that escalated quickly but they're just basket fillers so these are color twisted bath bombs and I got this one that says bunny rule and it's blue and then or pink and then blue on the inside but it says bunnies rule and it's got like the blue and purple bunnies on it you guys I'm so sorry about the lighting but I sat down it was a super sunny day and all of a sudden the clouds are rolling in and it keeps getting dark and it's awfulness um and then oh are these these are scented yes yeah, sorry oh they're both the same marshmallow scented and then this one says chicks rule and it's got the chicks peeps instead of the bunnies and it's yellow with purple on the inside and it looks like that can you even see because the lighting is so awful can you bring back my sunlight clouds clouds go away bring me back my sunlight today okay you guys get it right all right so i grabbed that for them and then i grabbed these 
for the kids. They're just the Cosmic Kinetic Sand, but it's green. Uh, I figured it would be something that the leprechaun can leave for them or get into. I thought maybe they could sprinkle this like all over the kitchen table with footprints. I mean, I'll do it in their little trays so that they can still play with it. But my kids absolutely love any kind of play sand, cosmic sand, all the things. And I figured if we did green, that would fit perfectly with our St. Patrick's Day theme. So I got that. I did get these little sour dude rainbow like looking sour candy bites. But I wanted to use the rainbow as like a play on St. Patrick's Day. Like, you know, follow the rainbow kind of thing. Uh, I think it was, I'm not sure, Tanya maybe. Somebody sent me a text message or a message somewhere. I'm sorry, my brain is done right now. But somebody sent me something, a picture of like a leprechaun little veggie board that you could do. And that had like a little, the belt of the hat of the leprechaun was using like these little sour belts i don't know i feel like you could use these for a lot of leprechaun looking things so i saw that and grabbed that and lastly is it lastly oh no what is this what there's something else in here what hello what are you oh stickers okay uh, I got these stickers for myself. I do decorate my meal planner. I look every time I'm in there for like food stickers and stuff. I don't always find them, but uh, this one said hope, so it caught my eye. I have like sentimental things for that word. It's the name that I chose for confirmation and like you can't use that. I had a right to the Pope. Like it was a whole big to do about using that name. And so it's always been sentimental to me. And then there were some other fun ones in here like hashtag YOLO. Uh, they have this little thing. I even have that tattooed on me, that little logo. That is the Hope, Faith, and Trinity symbol. Um, so they have that. I don't know, just super cute. So I thought these would be really sweet stickers to just go ahead and stick in my meal planner. And then now here are Maya's blind balls. So these say surprise blind balls, collect all six. And it's just little, it's either a cactus, a unicorn, an owl, a panda, a dino, or a frog. How super cute are those? And so like I said, I originally just got two of these, one for each kid, but then I found those other ones for Mason and I was like, all right, forget it. They'll each just get two as some more of these Easter basket fillers. Now I really need to go ahead and put it all together and see what I have and what I need. I usually get the kids like a few outfits and like bathing suits and water shoes and water things and getting ready for the warm weather, especially here in Texas. It's already starting to happen. So I definitely need to kind of sit and go through and compile everything. And eventually I'll be able to share with you guys, uh, you know, what I got my kids for Easter and all of that. All right, you guys, so that is it for this time's Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this mess. I'm definitely covered in a bunch of things, although still looking around. I said I was gonna be selective. I don't think I went overboard buying too many wasteful things. A lot of this stuff is going to be, like I said, gifted or used for Easter or food finds, that kind of thing. So I don't really think I bought anything that was just like a eh kind of thing but I definitely feel it when I get online and they tell you the total and you look down and you're like huh I don't really feel like I did so well this time but needless to say I still enjoyed my day Vanessa and I went to breakfast first and we went to this place called snooze and it really is one of the most fantastic places to eat let me know if you've ever eaten there and they have a amazing bacon sensation sandwich that has like green goddess cream cheese and bacon and eggs and it's so yummy that i can't stop thinking about it like it's just the perfect combination of flavors and we so we went there and there was a when we came out there was a farmer's market in the parking lot and we walked around and we went there and then we went to the dollar tree and we just kind of moseyed along and chit chatted and caught up since we hadn't seen each other in a couple of weeks and you know shopped around for these things so it still was fun and worth the trip but i feel like you feel it now when you're done online and you look down you're like huh and i was selective and still this is what i ended up with but 
I'm happy about it. I hope you guys were happy about it. If you were, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up. I love you guys so, so much. Subscribe if you are new. I have some more Dollar Tree fun things coming up. Stay tuned. I have someone new I want to share with you guys. So stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you're subscribed. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.